with a little hesitation, I agree. <laughs> Immediately I began to have a few anxious moments of thinking about what am I going to say? How am I going to keep from being nervous? And I'm falling back upon a speech class I took in college. And, uh, <laughs> I learned one important thing there, and that was that uh, if you feel like you're a little bit nervous, you just look at the audience and pretend they're all sitting there in their underwear. <laughs> that kind of puts everything in a different perspective. <laughs> so if I look at some of them, they kind of smile. You know? <laughs> as I sat down and uh, began to think about uh, Chris and William Lee's relationship, I had brought back a lot of memories. Uh, I remember uh, growing up with Chris because uh, her mother died when she was very young and uh, sort of uh, the chore of mother fell upon my mother to take care of Chris. And so Chris uh, really seemed to be like an older sister for me. Uh, many times uh, she'd bring her school books home and read me stories and stuff like that. I remember uh, walking to school with her on the day that she turned sweet 16 and she turned it. She was kind of singing that as we were walking down the road. <laughs> I remember uh, William Lake going hunting and fishing with him a lot and visiting up with his parents and I really enjoyed those times. And there have been, uh, I visited many times with him during the summers here in uh, Huntington. And Many, many holidays that uh, we've had together were special, especially one New Year's Eve when a couple of our families piled in the cars and drove up here and it was 15 below. And we had a little trouble getting here, but we finally made it. But most of all, there's one memory that sticks out in my mind, and that was the fact that I was with them on their first date. <laughs> William Lane came to pick Chris up and pick up the truck and I got to go. <laughs> so we the drive in. So we all piled into the front seat of this truck. And even though I was only six years old, I got to sit by the door. <laughs> that was real special. <laughs> well, after getting my filled popcorn and candy and pop from this soft touch boyfriend, you know, I, I pretended to fall asleep. <laughs> I'd heard about this word called smooch. Even though I was only six years old, I, uh, I didn't really know what it meant, but about halfway through the second movie I found out. <laughs> uh, then on uh, December 22nd, 1962, they were married and began their lives together. This has included uh, moving here to Huntington, finding jobs, buying a home, raising two kids, finding a church, and all those other things that go along with life and marriage. Through the years, they've committed themselves to fulfilling their wedding vows, for better, for worse, in good times and bad, and in sickness and in health. And they've had their share of all of those. Through it all, they've learned the, the key elements of life, and that is love and relationships. Their love of God, their love of others, their love of themselves, their relationships with God, the relationship with each other, and the relationship with family and friends. That's why we're here today to honor and celebrate with Chris, Chris and William. I knew I was going to say that. I've been saying quiz all day. <laughs> Chris and William, this milestone in their marriage through the love and relationships that we share with them. I'd like to just give them a hand. 